bought ourselves some Orbeez here. They're so much fun. They're really, really pretty. Look at all these beautiful colors. They're super squishy and really, really bouncy. Look how they just bounce. They are really, really cool. We added some glitter into our Orbeez so you can see all the little spots there. So we were doing some reading online to see how to grow Orbeez bigger. We were seeing some posts and things about that so we wanted to see what everyone found. And it seems like if you add different temperature water, if you add some little extra ingredients like salt, it may vary the sizes. So we were curious. And we were also curious about a couple things. What if we put them in the freezer? What if we put them in the oven? We were just really, really curious with these Orbeez. They are so neat. So we thought that we would join you today and do some really cool science experiments with these Orbeez. Yay! For our first experiment, we're going to see if the red ones really do grow larger than the other colored Orbeez. We did notice that the red ones are slightly bigger than all of the other colors. And here we have a little red one and a little green one. And you can see the red one is just slightly larger. So we are going to put the same amount of water and we have the same amount of Orbeez. And we're going to see if the red ones really do grow faster as well. We did put a whole pack of Orbeez in each one of these two to do another science experiment right at the same time to see if Orbeez stop growing when they're contained or if they would actually grow outside of the container if they are too big for the small container that they're in. We'll keep checking in to see which one is growing faster and which one is growing bigger. It's been an hour, awesome fans, and the red ones look bigger already. You can see a lot more empty space between the green ones. The red ones are definitely taking up more space. So let's continue to let those grow. And we have an awesome little surprise here. Mini Awesome and I put some Orbeez in the freezer. Oh, woo! Wow! <laughs> and they're like little snowballs. Look at those. Those are really cool. And look how neat this is. It looks like a big bundle of candy. So let's take one of them and let's hit it with something hard. Oops. Like a hammer? Yeah, like a hammer. That's a really good idea. Why didn't I think of that, right? Um, do we have a hammer? Yeah, but I have a toy hammer. You have a toy hammer? Do we have a real hammer? Let's see if we can find a real hammer. So we found the hammer and Mini Awesome, do you want to do the honors and give him a really swift whack? flying everywhere. Oh boy. <laughs> so the molecules in the Orbeez actually absorb the water and the chains of the molecules expand to make them really bouncy. So when we freeze them then that would mean, this is my best guess, that the molecules can no longer become elastic and can no longer move because they're frozen solid just like Elsa's powers and they are unable to expand and they're unable to be squishy so we are able to just shatter them super easily with the hammer. Those are really, really awesome. We're hearing some odd noises coming from our oven so we're going to check on the ones in the oven next. Can you hear the popping sound? These are the Orbeez that we put in the oven at 350 degrees. It's been about 50 minutes and it looks like they're shrinking back to their normal size. So the oven is actually dehydrating all of the water out of the full grown Orbeez and shrinking them back to how they started. Let's put them back in and see what happens. They really started popping, so we went ahead and pulled them out because there are quite a few in the bottom of our oven that we'll have to clean out later. And I thought this one was really cool. Kind of weird. Looks like a brain. It's sort of shriveled, but can you hear it? Yeah. Now this one here is clear, so I apologize, you can't see it probably too well. But this was a fully hydrated Orbeez. We had soaked our Orbeez overnight initially, so they were fully hydrated. But this one is actually really, really hard. Hear it? This one almost looks perfectly the size of one of the normal Orbeez before you hydrate them. But the difference is, is it's really, really squishy. Probably just had to dehydrate a little bit more. And I'm wondering if that has anything to do with the red ones growing faster. Maybe they absorb more water and they take longer for the water to dehydrate out of them. So what we're going to do with our ones that we had put in the oven, we're gonna put them back into water and see if we can regrow them. So we poured the water back in to rehydrate the Orbeez that we had in the oven. 
And I hope you can hear, they sound like Rice Krispies. We set up a mini muffin pan here with six little Orbeez in six of the cavities because we are going to compare regular water versus salt water, hot water versus cold water, and tap water versus the purified bottled water. They're all the same color and we'll be able to easily compare what grows the biggest Orbeez. Woo, we're excited! Go science! So first here we will add some salt. I guess that part wasn't very scientific because I just poured it in there. But it looks like it's about a teaspoon of salt. I have a big bottle of bottled water here. We'll just pour it about halfway full. That should be enough water to fill them up. There we go. And we'll fill the other one just normal. There we go. And then we'll fill this one down here with the bottled water. Tap water. So we have some hot water here. We put it in the microwave for two minutes. Ask for some assistance with this part because the bowl is a little hot. Or use plastic, glass is not a good idea. Ooh. Well, this will have to be our hot one now over here. Uh, you have to think of one. <laughs> I'm pouring it into the other one, there we go. Okay, so we have our hot water in one. So we have six new Orbeez for our cold test here. We put some water in the freezer for a half hour. It's really nice and chilly. This is also the bottled water. There we go, making sure all of them are at the same level. Awesome. One last thing that we wanted to try. We put some of the clear Orbeez into some bottled water there. And since the Orbeez absorb the water, we wanted to know if we did colored water, what would happen to our clear Orbeez. So we just put three drops of food coloring in there. Ooh, look at it grow. It looks like spider webs. So now we'll see you back in four hours, awesome fans, and we will see how everything looks. Woo! All right, awesome fans, and we are back. First, we are going to compare the salt versus no salt in the water Orbeez and see how they've grown. Mini Awesome, which ones do you think grew bigger? The ones with salt or no salt? Let's see. Oh, that's adorable. They're just little petite Orbeez, little tiny Orbeez. Oh, they're still cute. They're really, really squishy. They're really bouncy. Let's see if they bounce really high. We can test them with a bounce test. Wing! Ooh! Yes, it bounced clear back in the back there. <laughs> so they are very, very bouncy. Let's see if we can get that again. Ooh. Oh! Okay, Orbeez everywhere. Okay, I got one. <laughs> you got one, you caught them. Oh, they're so cute! They are just little, aren't they? They're so cute! They? Aww. And let's see what the ones without salt. This is just regular bottled water in these. These should be normal size, what we're used to. All that right. That my glowing. And they did grow. They definitely are bigger. So compared to our saltwater Orbeez, they grew significantly larger. Look at that. Oh, it's like, hi, baby Orbee. Hi, mommy. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> there we go. Wow. All I right. Them bounce. Oh, do these? Yeah, we got to test the bounce test on these ones too. They do not bounce as high as the little ones. Look. Oh. Oh no, that little one just went into the well water. Ah, let's get it out. Well, let's pull out the well water ones and see what size they came up to. All right, so there's the well water ones. Or tap water is what we called it, but we do have a well, so it is well water. And here are the ones that should be the same size as the other ones that we did. That's the bottled water. This is like trying to catch fish with your bare hands. Many awesome, can you get them out of there? This is well water, and this is bottled water. You can see the bottled water ones are just slightly larger. That's really cool. And the bounce test, let's see if one bounces higher than the other, the well water ones or the bottled water. Here they go. Oh, they did about the same. All right, and what's the last one? Cold water versus hot water. And wow, they are the same exact size. I cannot tell any visual difference here. They feel the same. Let's try the bounce test. And then bounce the same. <laughs> they bounce the same too. So I don't think that cold water and hot water, and remember our hot water was steaming, it was so hot. So we used really, really hot water, and then the cold water we had put in the freezer for a little bit, so it was really, really cold. So the difference I don't think made a difference in the size, but they're still really squishy and really bouncy. Those are really fun. Yeah. And, oh, we still get to check on the ones that we had put on in the oven, dehydrated a bit, and then wanted to try to rehydrate them. So let's see. Ooh, mini awesome, feel these. They feel like ice cream. They feel like ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> And a lot of them did actually rehydrate back to their normal size. They're still just as squishy. 
a lot of them are in pieces, we noticed, and probably during the dehydration process or putting them in the oven, they cracked or broke, but look how many are actually still whole. There are quite a few in there that's so neat. They're really pretty. All right, let's find one here and do the bounce test with them. Let's see if they bounce the same. Yep, they do. Oh, that's really neat. These are durable. These are really durable little toys. No matter what we're doing to them, they're still really cool. We wanted to see if we could make colored Orbeez. Oh my goodness, look at those. Wow. Those are awesome. So we put black food coloring into the water and we guessed that the Orbeez, the clear Orbeez that we put in there would soak up all the black water and they would turn black themselves. Oh, there they go. So we'll put these on a towel here to dry them off. Ooh. Oh wow, look at these. How neat are those? Wow. And when you wipe them off, the dye actually does not come off on your hands. Oh, those are so cool. Look at that. Those are really, really neat. We don't have any of the Orbeez Crush projects yet. We'd like to get a couple, but I think these would be really neat at making your own custom colors. And they grew just as big as the regular ones. Let me grab a regular one here. So they're just as big, so the dye did not hinder the growing process at all. Let's see if they still bounce. Move these other ones to the side here. Are they still just as bouncy? Do you think they are mini awesome? Yeah. Oh, cool. They are just as bouncy. So that is really, really neat. And the last experiment I know all of us have been waiting for and been super excited about seeing is would the Orbeez grow enough to pop these lids off? They did not, but we think that there's actually going to be enough pressure built up in the bottles from the Orbeez growing and needing more space to grow that when we pull the lids off that they are just going to explode right out of the bottles and go everywhere. Alright, Mini Awesome, are you ready? Yeah. We'll pull the lids off on three. Um, what about five? At five? Okay, count us in. One, two, three, four, five. Pull it off. Whoa, oh my gosh, they're just growing right up. <laughs> that was funny. So they did need some more space to grow. Oh, there goes more. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's more. And the Orbeez in the bottles did grow to their normal size. This is one of the green ones, and this is one of the ones grown in the normal bottled water in an open container. So they did grow to the same size, and they were squished down in there, so when we took the lids off, that's what caused them to pop out. That's <laughs> really, really fun. That's a really neat mm -hmm. thing to watch. What, everyone? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, Orbeez! <laughs> wow! And we did do one last little science experiment on our own with our extra Orbeez as a surprise for all of you. Woo! That looks fun! And we have an Orbeez tornado! So I think it's safe to say that we've had a huge, huge blast playing with these Orbeez. They're so much fun and there's so many things you could do with these really, really awesome toys. Let us know what cool things you've done with Orbeez Awesome fans. Like us and subscribe. This is Be Awesome. And Manila!